Being a leader is really hard. It's one of the hardest jobs you'll ever have, but it also can be very rewarding. And I try to help leaders be the kind of leader that people actually want to follow. But I was recently asked a question, Haleli, what do I do if I am experiencing someone or maybe a couple of different people on my team who don't seem to want to follow my direction, my vision, my guidance? What should I do with people like that who seem to be resistant to following or non-compliant? Now, I have lots and lots of advice on my podcast, The Talent Grow Show, on my blog, in my books, and in the work that I do in the world that can help you become the kind of leader people want to follow and to become a more influential and more successful leader. But I want to challenge you today. When you experience pushback, when you experience resistance, when you experience someone who seems to not follow what you're doing, instead of following that knee-jerk reaction of resentment, look for ways in which they might actually be helping you out. Are they doing you a favor by pushing back? So think about the Titanic as a metaphor. If you were on the deck of the Titanic and you're the captain and you just told everybody to rearrange the chairs on the deck of the Titanic because they're moving around. Hopefully, if there is an employee on that deck who saw that iceberg over on the horizon, they probably will push back on your instruction to rearrange the deck, the deck chairs. And if you are open to listening to their perspective, you might learn from them why. And you could potentially avoid a very, very disastrous decision and change your mind about what you've asked everyone to do. So when someone is pushing back, how could you entertain their resistance without that resentment, but with curiosity? What might they be seeing or what might they know that you don't? They have a different perspective on the work. They have a different kind of input from maybe from clients or people on the front line that you don't. And they could be doing you a huge favor by pushing back and giving you some input about what might be a mistake in the direction that you're setting. So challenge yourself that when you experience some resistance, when you experience a challenge, when someone seems to be getting in your way and not just following in line, maybe there is a way in which they're helping you out and maybe you should be thankful for it. One of the guests I've had on the podcast before, Ira Shalef, wrote a book called Courageous Followership. And as courageous leaders, which was another book he wrote, we definitely want to develop people around us who are willing and able to push back and to resist leadership that could be guiding them in the wrong direction, like what happened in Enron, in that fiasco where people didn't feel comfortable to speak up. Daniel Goleman coined the term CEO disease. I wrote about this in a blog post where I said, leaders, you need to nurture your naysayers. CEO disease is when people, as they rise up, begin to be surrounded by yes men and yes women, people who just toe the line, who tell them their ideas are all great, who just say yes, who don't push back. The more that you move into a higher and higher position of leadership, the greater the risk is that people will be afraid to push back. People will be afraid to be naysayers. So when you experience someone as a naysayer, instead of seeing them as someone who's in your way or something to fix, be looking for a way in which to nurture, develop, and encourage them to speak up so that you can have that additional perspective and potentially prevent disastrous problems. I'm Haleli Azulai, your leadership development strategist here at Talent Grow, and I hope that you found this suggestion helpful. Every week I send out a newsletter to my subscribers that gives them the latest on the podcast, the Talent Grow show, as well as any new things on the blog or vlog like this, as well as tips and learning opportunities. And so I hope that you'll sign up in the link below. And until the next time, here's to your leadership. Make today great.